Hey guys, been a while, hasn't it? Uh, I'm not good with intros, but I'm pretty sure you guys already knew that. So, in today's video, as you can probably tell, we're going to be doing a review on the Sonic the Fighters Dr. Eggman plush and the Sonic the Fighters Metal Sonic plush. So, without further delay, let's begin, starting with Eggman. So here is the Sonic the Fighters Dr. Eggman plush, as I just said. This plush stands at about 10 inches tall. It came out in 1997, a year after the game. Here he is next to the Sonic plush in the set. As you can see, they are around the same size, actually. It's not very great scaling, but... Scale probably wasn't what they were going for with this set. Something that's very well known about all of these plushes is that they are very, very, very high quality plushes. And Dr. Eggman is no different. As you can see, he has the same gold hang string that Sonic has over here. My Eggman is unfortunately untagged, but that is completely okay. Um... For anyone who has forgotten, this is what the tag looks like. It's a very, very nice tag. really like the art here. Eggman and Metal Sonic are actually on the tag. They're right down there, if you can see them. But anyways, it's a bit blurry. Let's put Sonic to the side. It's not about him. It's about Eggman. So, my thoughts on Eggman. He is a very nice plush, like I said. Although there are some weird things about him. For one thing, he doesn't wear gloves. I believe this is one of the only Eggman plushes where he doesn't have white gloves. Instead, he just has his normal hands. Quite peculiar. He also has yellow buttons, something that I believe was in his, like, beta design. Also really weird. Pretty sure the 1991 Eggman plush also has yellow buttons. He has... the. These nice plastic eyes. You can hear that. So it's a plastic nose. His teeth and mustache are an overlay material. His mustache is sewn onto his face, or actually it's glued onto his face, so you cannot move it. Same thing goes for the back of his cape, although it can flip up like that. Pretty neat. He has one outstretched hand with four fingers instead of five, which it's mostly... Be actually, wait, now that I think about it... No, he does. He has five fingers. I'm, I'm stupid, friends. Sorry. This f fist is in a... Well, it's in a fist, like, like I just said. I think it's pretty clear that I don't script these videos. I think it's okay, though. He's got his legs right here. They're pretty small and stocky looking, but that's true to Eggman's character. Overall thoughts, Eggman is a very nice plush to have. He's also one of the most common plushes in this set from what I know. I picked mine up personally through a private collector for almost $180, which considering the prices some of these plushes have, that's actually pretty insane. So if you find this plush for a pretty good deal, I'd say snag it. This is a really nice plush. But I have a feeling that some of you aren't here for Eggman. So, let's move on to the plush that you guys are probably here for. So, I've been asked this question a few times. What's the rarest item in your entire collection? What's your holy grail item? And to that I say the exact same thing. The Sonic the Fighters Metal Sonic plush. I have wanted this plush for so, so long. And only a few, last year did I finally acquire him. And now I can finally give a full in-depth review of him. Metal Sonic, as some of you know, is made of a very brittle vinyl material that degrades and cracks really, really easily. And I don't know if you can see, but on my fingertips, I do have, if the camera will focus, like some 
little speckles from touching him. In fact, from my original plush collection video, ever since I showed him off there, once I put him back on my shelf, I have not touched him since I did that video, just because he's just so frail. But in any case, his eyes are made of a rubbery material and not plastic like the rest of the set. If I grab Sonic over here, he's got these nice plastic eyes. But Metal Sonic over here has some rubber ones. One of the only parts of this plush that isn't made out of vinyl is the black of his eyes, which is made of felt. Same goes for his inner ear detail, which is not glued on this time. It's sewn in, unlike Sonic, who has glued in inner ear details. Unfortunately, my Metal Sonic does not have his hang string anymore, although he does have the original tag hook that would attach the tag to his back. His spikes, or like spines that you'd call them, are pretty okay. Um, the way I sit mine, this one kind of shoots upwards, which probably isn't a good thing, but there's not really much else you could do to sit this plush up. He's, like from a lot of collectors, they've told me that mine's in pretty good shape compared to, uh, to others, and while I won't deny that, I wouldn't say he's in great shape. Probably the worst part of this plush is right here under his armpit. Where it's just completely peach. His jet intake in the front and the back isn't very well done. It's honestly, it looks kind of rushed. It's very weird. His hands. Recently, I actually took some crazy glue and I glued them back together. But beforehand, I don't know if you can see it right there. They actually split apart and were sticking to his hand. So I had to manually try and take them off. You can see that scar on his hand right there. And I actually crazy glued them back together. I think he looks much better. And while some people might say that ruins the value, he just looks nice, okay? Don't give me that. Thankfully, my Metal Sonic still has his Tush Tag. And it's in pretty good shape. It's just got some discoloration because of the vinyl damage. Still perfectly readable, though. He's got Sega 1996. And then on the other side is 1997 made in China, Sega. His feet are... The entirety of this plush is made of vinyl material. Let's just get that out of the way. It's, it's pretty nasty looking, honestly. But... I feel like his shoes have held up pretty well. So have his shins. His shins have actually held up pretty well. There are a little bit of damage under here. But um, mine's actually a lot better than some other collectors. Like, I've seen some really bad vinyl damage to the legs. Especially, like, right underneath the hip. Like, right around here. That's why when I display this plush, I actually put him in a little bit of tissue paper right in this area. Just to prevent this kind of damage. Overall thoughts, I this is one historic plush, and it's one that I've wanted for an extremely long time. Was it worth it? Well, of course it was. It's a phenomenal plush. The only problem is that vinyl. Because if you don't have anything to protect this plush, it will fall apart on you. Like, if any collectors know or have this plush or have something similar like the Sonic Adventure plushes with their souls, or, God forbid, the E-102 Gamma plush. Like, wow. It's crazy how much these things peel off with the paint. It's just, it's just, it sucks. But, rest assured, guys, I will take the best care of this Metal Sonic for as long as I have him. Which, hopefully, will be a pretty long time. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to be putting out more reviews of this set very, very soon. And um, thank you guys for supporting me with this stuff. Uh, update for my plush series. I, It's definitely still in the works. I have not canceled it yet. I just really haven't had a lot of time to film it, you know? And I've mostly been looking for an editor. Not someone to edit my videos, but a editing software that I can use. Not to say that I'm making excuses, but also it's mostly because of pure laziness. 
But any in any case, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.